John, I'm, I'm waiting for you long ago that you are actually involved as a player for Ireland, but you're now back in the tracksuit. Like, you know, how does it feel being back involved? Yeah, brilliant being back involved. Um, when you get the chance to put on the tracksuit, obviously, um, brings back lots of memories, but also uh, very proud because it's it's something that obviously when you you do take the next step into coaching and stuff to get the chance to to be involved with Ireland at any level, but especially you know coming into the competitiveness of under twenty one level and. So to be given a chance by Jim and, uh, was was brilliant and really looking forward to it because uh, like the previous uh, management team that have moved up obviously to the seniors uh, and Jim has stayed to take take charge of this. They've they've done amazing work already. So myself and Alan Reynolds coming in, we're looking to continue that on and obviously hopefully build on it. But um, they've left us in a left us in a good position. How will it feel on match day when you know when you take the tracksuit off? There's not a jersey underneath. <laughs> the tracksuit will be staying on. No, look, it'll be it'll be brilliant because that's uh, that's what you're wanting to do. Um, when you're working with a group of players as well, the talent that we have and uh, the competition that we have for places in the team. Um, and obviously, this week has been my first chance to get to see the players in the flesh and to meet up, obviously, with the rest of the staff. Um, so it's been really, really exciting and really encouraging because you see the quality. Obviously, I've uh, been watching the players from afar, whether it be on videos and wide scout and different things and coming up against them in opposition. Um, so I know the quality that the players have. And, but to see it in the flesh and see them up close and get relationships going like that, it's been uh, been really positive. In the training session, it was quite obvious you were enjoying yourself. Yeah, well, look, you have to when you come over and you're wanting to get ideas across. That's the most important thing that the you're 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 enjoying what you're doing, but also you want to get the players enjoying it as well as much as they can. Yeah, at different stages, they have to take tactical tactical advice on from from Jim and the rest of the staff. But um, mainly, it's about that enjoyment factor and getting the results on the pitch. Ultimately, for someone who had such a long and successful career as a player. And you were a captain for many teams as well. Leadership kind of came naturally to you, like throughout your playing career. But is the is a different type of leadership now that you have to focus on, and a different type of communication now that you have to practice? Yeah, it is. It is, and ultimately, you're part of this coaching team now that we're we're giving the advice and ideas from Jim what he wants to have for that starting team and the starting squad that that will be out in Italy, and you're getting them tactical points across. And it is a different kind of communication. But ultimately, you're you're getting that focus into the players, and it's great to see already the the some of the quality. As I said, I spoke about the quality, but the, watching the players develop at their clubs, some in the Premier League, playing at the Championship level as well, and uh, some League of Ireland players doing doing really good too. So there's um, a great mix, and already as well, you've seen Stephen taking some of the players up from uh, the twenty ones in, involved with the seniors as well. So we'll be looking to carry on that. That's what we have to do, produce players for the senior team. But as well, if we can get that uh, major tournament with the under-21s, that'll be a huge target too. I mentioned the experience that you had as a player. This is a learning process for you as well, isn't it? Obviously, you're working at Reading as well and you're getting great experience there. But people might think just because you were uh, had such a long career that it just naturally transfers over into coaching. But there is a learning process there. And it's not just on the pitch, it's the video analysis, it's around the hotel, it's the personable side of it as well exactly and that's a huge part of it as you said it's, it's you can't just flick that switch and go uh, naturally straight into the be be as confident as you are say playing side of things straight into the coaching side of it. it will take that bit of time to develop it and as you said getting the chance to do it at Reading and uh, especially now to get the chance the first time to develop it with the Irish team underage team with the 21s brilliant learning curve for me and working with great people as well and around the backroom staff and everyone around it again, like always with Ireland, the people involved are really, really supportive and the, most importantly wanting to give that information and help to the players too, so they perform, but also having a good atmosphere around the place in general, it's brilliant. And how, how have you found that, like how, how are your computer skills and are you a master or a voice scout and, every, and everything else at the stage? Look, it's one, it's work in progress, as they say, it's it's great to see, uh, obviously with Martin Doyle here with the 21s and um, the people back at Reading that are involved with the analysis side of things it's uh, it's brilliant to see how and it's becoming more and more apparent you see Jim as well now at the side of the pitch 
we're able to relay pictures and ideas back to the players instantly and it's great and they take it on board brilliantly too and um, look it's not all they still have to have their own we give them ideas and pictures about what we're looking for but they have to have that own imagination on the pitch too where they can create and be decisive and yeah we're looking for them to maybe pinpoint weaknesses in certain teams but you have to have that every player has to have that natural ability themselves that make their own decision heat of the moment stuff where things might change on the pitch and they have to adapt to it and I think we've we've shown already in the campaign so far that we've got plenty of quality players to do that. Obviously, you're you're stepping into coaching now and and getting the taste with. There's a lot of guys of your generation and just you know a couple of years ahead, a couple of years behind to have experienced it in the Ireland setup as well. Obviously, Robbie Keane is in with the senior team. Damien Duff and Keith Andrews are gone in now, but even down further edges, Sean St. Ledger, Richard Dunn, Kevin Doyle, Colin Healy. There's been there's been a litany of guys there getting an opportunity to learn the craft of coaching in an international environment. It's, it's important that you guys get a chance to give something back a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, without a doubt it is. And it, it's also the fact that it's great for the players to, and for the younger players too to see the players that have gone through and played at different levels all through their careers and into the senior team, that they want to give that experience back, but also that they want to learn and improve themselves and hopefully go, keep going on and developing, as you said, uh, Robbie involved the senior team now it's Keith and Duffer are involved helping Stephen it's great to see that and hopefully that will continue over years to come you know that players can get the chance to be involved but ultimately they have to earn that right you know and if, if that's the case all well and good and everyone keeps developing and the most important thing is we're winning on the pitch you, you must be busier now than you've ever been in your life because you're, you're balancing the work at Reading you know because like as a player you can switch off after training session you can go home but I imagine as a coach, there's a lot more work to it. And you've got Reading, you've got Ireland, you're doing yeah. the UEFA course, you're doing so much. Yeah, my wife, my wife is delighted. She's <laughs> the, <laughs> no, look, it, it is. And that's a big thing I have to improve on as well. Um, that the time management type of things when you're you're focusing on all the, the stuff that you're involved in. And that's a, another case of um, improving your after football life, after playing career, that you can uh, manage your time much better making sure you're getting very efficient on things and as I said that's a work in progress too but it's something I'm enjoying it's a challenge and something that I have to keep improving on. Going back to the communication on the pitch when you were a player particularly when you played you know at centre back or in a centre position when you communicate an instruction to somebody and you saw someone take that on and it worked I'm sure you get great satisfaction out of that I'm sure that's the same sort of feeling now if you do it with a player in a coaching capacity where if you tell them to do something and it works but it's 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 different. That obviously you're not involved as a player, if you know what I mean. Yeah, no, it is it, it, it is, but it, it is satisfying. But ultimately, we're we're trying to give the players the tools now that they go out, and if they replicate what we're looking for, we won't exactly be patting ourselves on the back. But it is refreshing because that's the ideas you want to get across. But ultimately, it's the players, it's the players that go out there under pressure to produce the goods that we're looking for, whether it be a set piece, free kick, different ideas that you're putting across to them. And if they can do that on the pitch, it's all credit to them because they're doing it under the stress of uh, the, the opposition wanting to stop them and stuff like that. But we can give them the ideas and hopefully pinpoint a few things that they can work on. And if they do produce it in the game, all well and good, but it's it's the credit that the players deserve. Can I ask you just a little bit about Jim? Um, Jim's obviously give, giving you the phone call to come in and link up yourself and Alan Rallins to come in to assist Jim. He's taken over from Stephen Kenny and... Um, in this campaign, the campaign's obviously gone well to date, top of the group at the moment going into the Italy game. How, how have you found that process, working with Jim and what he wants to get out of it? Yeah, look, Jim has been brilliant. Um, he, the detail that he goes into as well in his preparation, um, it's been a great learning curve for me and obviously the, the, the chance that he's letting me do as well and different bits in training to take advantage of that to improve my skills and getting messages across like that has been fantastic already. Uh, but also to work with someone that's been involved in the, in the international teams for a good few years now, and as you said, worked under Stephen as well. But it's Jim's chance now to be the to be the main man. He's I'm really the first few days already. Obviously, we'd had plenty of phone conversations and uh, Zoom calls over the last last few months as well. So, but to be in the flesh here with him and Rennie um, is really brilliant for me because, as I said, the experience that they've had and learning from him, it's uh, it's invaluable for me. So early on in my career, and just the type of fella he is as well, real good fella to be around, positive, mm -hmm. and uh, really looking forward to getting into the games now. 
because people obviously know him quite recently from being assistant to Stephen. Some people will remember from his League of Ireland career or when he was in, when he was in England, broke through at Newcastle as well. But in the past number of years, Jim has forged a really solid reputation as being a really good, shrewd coach educator. And it's, it's something that you can see in the sessions and, as you mentioned, the, the level of detail. So it's great now he's having this opportunity as a manager to put that into practice. Yeah, without a doubt. And as you said, the detail he goes into, um, the understanding of the opposition that we'll be facing, all those details. And hopefully it comes to fruition, on, on as we said, on the pitch, but also having uh, the support of Alan and uh, Rennie, the goalkeeping coach as well. That uh, the experience that they have as well, it's uh, it's really good. And obviously, Rennie was involved. Um, Rennie Gilmartin, the goalkeeping coach with Stephen as well. So that's continued on, and it's myself and Alan are kind of the new the new faces involved with the twenty ones, and everyone has made us feel uh, feel very welcome. When you look at these guys, some of them played under 17 championships, under 19 championships. You yourself experienced, you know, success uh, underage tournament as well. Gone all, all the way back to those days in Scotland. Um, what what does it mean for guys coming through up the grades to experience that? Because as a country, we haven't had a huge amount of experience. Like you look at Italy, for example, who are playing. They've won the European Championships five times at uh, under twenty one level. We've never qualified for the tournament. Yeah, well, that's the big thing, and that's the experience you'd be saying to the players that if they did experience a major tournament at under twenty one level, it'd be the first time for for Ireland. And it's it, major tournaments are where you get amazing experiences. Um, I'm obviously fortunate to do it with Ireland underage and senior level and it's, it, it really is something that develops you as a player too so um, if we can be the that group can be the first lads involved in that it would be brilliant and very something, something to be very proud of but also something that you really want to build on and I think it really brings themselves for the players in particular the notes that they'll get at their clubs around the rest of the kind of footballing world when you're at major tournaments it's a great um, great experience and great learning curve but something that will be really positive for them in their careers Did you find that through the years that not just on underage level but at senior level if you did well with Ireland you were bouncing go back to your career and at, at your club? Yeah exactly and that's it's like everything when the boys come over if they've really been doing well at their club it, it works both ways lads that maybe haven't gone so well at their club also have that kind of mental break where they're coming away with Ireland now, meeting f familiar faces, friendly faces again, and they get a boost too. So it can work both ways. But um, yeah, as always, it's been uh, very positive when, when I first met up with everyone. And no surprise really because the campaign has been going really well. Throughout the years, um, when you went to the Ireland camps, there was a, an atmosphere, you know, a very friendly camaraderie between the players you know, developed by staff members as much as the coaching staff and the players themselves. Do you think you have an element or responsibility to bring that in as well? Albeit it's Jim's team and he, he sets the atmosphere, but do you think you can bring something to that? Yeah, well look, everyone can, as you said, whether it be um, team doctors, physios, whatever the case may be, you know, people that bring that camaraderie off the pitch are just as important, you know, whether it be kit men, different, everyone knows um, the, the how important they are. So all people like that, that they're invaluable to the squad and Just getting as that well, team spirit. Just the players feel what what it's all about. You know, like the football is obviously one thing qualifying for a tournament, but to represent their country as well, like you know, to kind of get that sense of Irishness as well. Yeah, it is huge, and I think that's something that will always remain a key element to it when the players come over. That that's a key factor, especially when you're travelling too. Yeah, it'd be great to be playing in Dublin all the time, but we know we have to travel and represent your country and be amazingly proud of that. And that's something that's very uh, very prevalent here at the moment.